and welcome back to Mass Effect. Last time we finished Vermeer. This time let's see what the result is. So... First things first, talk to the crew. See what they think about things. And the glow is gone. Okay, well, of course, let's start with... I don't think Presley has anything interesting to say. Let's start with Joker. See what his thoughts are. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir, I don't know if I could have done it. Hmm. Indeed. Well, overall, I'm thinking that generally Shepard should tend to be a bit more renegade after his loss. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. All right. I'll be okay, Commander. Just need some time. Well, he's shaken. Let's check if Presley has something. I don't think he does, but hey. Yes, Commander? Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. So let's go talk to the others. Starting with Kaiden. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Ash, you, even me. I understand. I just... If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akus? Well... That is quite the question, isn't it? See if... We have parallels between Akuz and Avalon. That means on Akuz, or Avalon, he lost his first love interest. On Vermeer, he lost his second love interest. Both died in line of duty, and both didn't regret it. But that doesn't really make John any more happy now, does it? Well, I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Alenko. We'll remember her later. You're right. I can't let this get to me. Not now, anyway. Thanks for the advice, sir. Hmm. Then again, these renegade responses are not the best. Oh, well. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in all of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. We may be ants to them, but humans have never managed to exterminate ants. It makes you wonder, are ants any more aware than we were of the giants that walk over their heads? Hmm. Yeah, the Reapers are a bit of a problem, isn't it? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. And also, no loot. Welp. Well, how about our third love interest? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. 
How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Yeah, pretty much. Turns out Saren wasn't really uh, that different from us. He just gave up because he cannot really do anything else. Uh, we can try. The future seems bleak, but we can try. On the other hand, when we think about this whole scar between Saren and Cerberus, Cerberus was responsible for what happened on Akuz. And Saren, maybe not entirely directly, but he was still responsible for what happened on Vermeer. So, the score is still the same. John hates both about equally. So... I don't know. Maybe not. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Well, we will indeed never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Yep. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. And I'm a bit disappointed that Bioware didn't actually script any extra things for what happens if the person that dies on Vermeer is your love interest. I mean... I can understand that, because who would actually try and do that? <laughs> um, but still, it would have been nice if they put at least a token effort in that, you know. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Yep. Well, let's get down and see if we can talk to Rex. He probably also has something to say. After all, he survived. Oh, hello there. We picked up the Salarian team itself. Also, loot crates, but we cannot loot them. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. All right. Um, one thing to note about Captain Kirahi, if you don't do the whole thing with sabling Geth stuff, he can die, and then he won't be here. So, something to keep in mind. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. And, indeed, he will leave the ship as soon as we go somewhere. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. I guess it is a sort of success. Let me see what you have. And... Savantan. 
Massa van 10. Massa van 10. Ah. Also mercenary 10. But that's not so good. I'll take it. Hmm, interesting. Well, while I'm doing that... Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. What do you have? Stuff, 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 stuff. Predator 10. Eh. Eh. Stuff, 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 stuff. Krogan. Scorpion 10. Eh. Light armor Turian Phoenix 10. Eh. <laughs> Another Swan 10? Well, I mean, why not? There's never too many savant tens. Heavy human armor. That will never come in handy anymore. Medium human armor. Eh, only four. And I can also sell off some of the things that I really don't need. So, this is okay. But I have better now. We'll keep the Spectre here. And I don't need pistols, assault rifles. This is okay. This is also okay. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. Keep this. That's way too many snowblind rounds. Explosives, too many incendiary explosives. Hell cost combined pistol. Kessler, also sell that. Polaris is okay. Uh, Heliot is okay, but again, we don't really need things like that. Devlon needs to go. Explorer 9, eh. Light Quarian armor, huh, that might still be useful. Sort of foundation, not really. And that's about it. Huh. Yeah, sell that and that's it. Okay, well but at least we did get our inventory slightly more cleaned up. So, Rex. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeyer. You don't you say. Did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Oh, he will. No matter what it takes, I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. You and Garrus both. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Rex. And... Uh, empty. The console is still there. But it's turned off. And will stay turned off. There's nothing else for us to do here, aside from talk to Captain Kirahi. My superiors will hear of this. You have made an ally of the Solarian people. I salute you and all of your officers. My men were concerned about teaming with you, but your actions have earned their respect. We will work together again. I am certain of it. That we might. My superiors will hear of this. You have made an ally of the Salarian people. We lost a lot of people on Vermeer. I hope it was worth it. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Thank you for your efforts, Commander. I'm sure you will be properly recognized. Yeah, about that. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. You achieved a lot on Vermeer. You have my respect. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. 
Good luck, Commander Shepard. No, we don't have anything else to do here. So, with all that done... Let's go see what else we can do about this whole Saren problem. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Oh. Well, that sounds good. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. The Council actually doing something? What is this? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Hmm. Okay, well, that's... good for defense, I guess, but that doesn't really solve the issue itself, now does it? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Hmm. Well... That doesn't sound very nice, because if we just allow him to do whatever, he will find a way to go around everything. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon, the conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. So, they don't seem to be convinced. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. We also spoke to him directly. Come on now. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Command. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Vermeer was not really Shepard's plan, now was it? That was Captain Kirahi. And we can be discreet whenever that is necessary, and when we are in Terminus systems. We weren't so far. Come on now. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Grounded. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on me, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. 
Lux, you say? Well, no Geth on the Citadel, so the usual team, I suppose. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Now, to be fair, the Council does seem to be very uncooperative, but in in uh, the novel Mass Effect Revelation, they proved one thing that they don't really tell you everything that they're thinking, one thing. Another thing is that they're not actually idiots, even though they sometimes seem like they are. They might have a plan. Or they might not have a plan. And they're hoping that we have a plan. And we might have a plan. Also, we should probably remove the helmets. Also, the journal says... Oh, also, Vermeer, base destroyed. You destroyed Saren's base at Vermeer, but at a terrible cost. Ashley is dead. Her sacrifice was not in vain, however. The cure for the Krogan genophage was destroyed. Saren's alliance with the Reapers was revealed. And most importantly, you know that Sovereign is, in fact, a Reaper itself. And next, Race Against Time, Sovereign. You've discovered the real enemy is not Saren, but a Reaper called Sovereign, a sapien warship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the Conduit, the key to unleashing a new Reaper invasion on the galaxy. Meet with Anderson. Captain Anderson is waiting for you in the wards at Flux. He may be able to help you get out of the Citadel. What we didn't know is that there was also a mission Escape the Citadel. You have to find a way to get to the Normandy of the Citadel so you can go to Isles. Hmm. But apparently mission failed. Okay, let's go down. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many Council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Well, nothing about Vermeer. Okay. But now that we are on the Citadels, there will be some changes around here, I'm pretty sure. So I want to explore the Citadel a bit. It's not like we can do anything else, really. So first of all, do we have any new weapons? Or licenses or something else? Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Hmm. Nope. Also, uh, the Council did tell us last time that we are supposed to be the Spectres that really do whatever they feel is necessary. It's a bit strange that we are now grounded, so we cannot do that. But it's not like the Council was the one that grounded us. Looks like it was Ambassador Udina. Hello, Commander. Not now. Okay, 
doesn't look like there is anything here. How about flight controllers? Mm, no changes, looks like. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? That's large. Okay, well, nothing here, so let's go to the Presidium. And let's see what Udina has to say for himself. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Once again, nothing new. Ah. We're there. So let's just go to the embassies first. Cyclodini is hiding. Well, he better be. <laughs> the Earthclad Spectre has returned to speak with me. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earthclan. No, nothing new here either. I don't suppose there's anything new on the other side. Hmm. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Yeah, so far it's been very pleasant. For you now. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Would be nice if you could unground my ship, but I don't suppose you can. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? No. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Thank you for all your help, Shepard. Looks like nothing new here either. Okay. Well. I know there's something new in the wards. But before that, I might as well also look at... The Emporium. They might have something new for sale, maybe? Also, now... We do know that the Citadel was, in fact, not created by the Protheans, but created by the Reapers. 
The sheer size of this place is overwhelming. Well, the sheer size of Reapers is also quite overwhelming. We did see uh, Sovereign back in Eden Prime. And it was quite big. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Mm-hmm. Light terrain armor. Ceres Council? Ceres Council. That is quite a bit better. Wow. I'll take that. Heavy human armor, never useful anymore. And no licenses or anything. Okay. Well, at least we got something out of this. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Wow, isn't that... The same armor that... Well, at least the same line of armor. This is medium armor, right? Uh, no, this is light armor. Huh. Well, it might have been changed due to the... Um, the texture pack. But it looks quite a bit like the armor that Nihilus wore back when... He was still alive, basically. Also, glowing in the dark. Awesome. Okay, well... I think I'll explore the Citadel on my own for a bit, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, and in the meanwhile, we'll just read some codex entries. Because we have something. The Salarian government is called the Salarian Union. It is a labyrinthine web of matrilinean, matrilineal bloodlines, with political alliances formed through interbreeding. In many ways, the Salarian political network functions like the noble families of Earth's medieval Europe. Structurally, the government consists of fiefdoms, baronies, duchies, planets, and marches, colonization clusters. These are human nicknames. The original Salarian is unpronounceable. Each area is ruled by a single Delatras, matriarchal head of household, and represents an increasing amount of territory and prestige within the Salarian political web. Approaching 100 members, the first circle of a Salarian's clan comprises parents, siblings, uncles, aunts, and cousins. The next circle includes second cousins, etc., and escalates to well over 1,000 members. The fourth or first, fifth circle of a clan numbers into the millions. Salarian loyalty is greatest to their first circle and diminishes from there. Their photographic memories allow Salarians to recognize all their myriad relatives. Cool. So essentially they have families for parties. Good to know. But yes, so that will be all for now. And uh, next time we'll continue exploring the Citadel and go see what Captain Anderson has in mind. See you then. Later.